Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we got another food related video. As you can see on my desk, I have a bunch of cereals, specifically American cereals. So growing up in Australia, I watched a lot of American TV shows, Seinfeld, Simpsons. There were all these really, really delicious looking American cereals, but unfortunately we didn't have those cereals available. Like there are some available. We have rice bubbles, but I think in America, you guys call them like rice crisps or rice puffs or something. But all of these ones I have in front of me, I've never had them before. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying these American cereals and sharing my thoughts and also rating them on a scale of one to 10. So guys, as always, if you like the video, please don't forget to press like. It really helps us support the channel and get the video out there. And let's get started. All right, so starting off today, we're gonna to be having some Reese's Puffs. Uh, what are they called? Reese's Pieces, Peanut Butter Cups. I've had those before. Might be a bit controversial. Wasn't a huge fan, but hopefully the cereal will be a little bit more delicious. Guys, for anyone watching, just to settle this debate, the cereal goes in first and then you pour the milk in because then you know how much milk you're gonna need to go with your cereal. Debate settled. Since I'm gonna be eating so much cereal, I have got just a small bowl with me today. I don't wanna have a sugar rush before I go to sleep. It's actually nighttime over here at the moment. Super peanut buttery. All right, taste test number one. These are really solid. I really enjoy that. They're a lot less peanut buttery than their chocolate bar counterpart. The flavors are a bit subtler. No, that was actually really, really nice. I could definitely see myself eating that often. I would definitely give that a solid eight out of 10. That was really good. I gotta drink the milk, otherwise it's gonna contaminate the next cereal I put in there. But great start, Reese's Puffs, me likey. Me likey, likey, likey. Next up, we have Kellogg's Crave. Filling made with real chocolate. Nothing better than a breakfast full of chocolate to start your day, kids. By the way, guys, I have my Seattle... By the way, guys, I have my Seattle Supersonics t-shirt on today because I'm having American cereals and this is an American basketball team. Ooh, very nice. That is delicious. That really is nice. Like before I ate these, I was actually worried that there was gonna be too much chocolate, but just like the Reese's Pieces, I mean, it's not that sweet. I suppose the more you eat, the sweeter it gets, but that's actually really good. It doesn't taste that unhealthy. I don't know. I mean, I feel like giving it an eight. Is that too high? You know what? I like it better than the Reese's Puffs, or do I? I'm gonna give Crave an eight. It's solid. Yeah, Crave is solid. Crave's an eight. Crave's an eight. Next up, let's go for some tricks. Growing up in my house, my parents were quite like health conscious. I wasn't really allowed to have things like roll-ups, uh, sugary cereals. Like we mostly just had wheat bix For those of you guys who don't know, wheat bix is a very bland, classic Australian breakfast. But you know, you eat it with honey, you eat it with fruit. Yeah, it tastes a little better. I have had Fruit Loops in the past before, and they were disgusting. Hopefully, tricks are a little different. I'll find out. Ooh, foil bag. Oh, but it has some fruit facts on the back of the box, so that's kind of cool. The biggest orange ever recorded was 25 inches waist. And some berries like blueberries make a very good food dye. Thank you, Trix. Oh, these smell exactly like Fruit Loops. I do like the colors and the shapes. The shapes are cute. They're shaped like little flowers and fruits and stuff like that. It's not nice. I am sure these are the same as Fruit Loops, just in different shapes. I'm not saying this is a bad cereal. I'm just saying that I don't particularly like them. They taste weird. Like they don't taste like fruit. They taste like some weird sour stuff. But if you like them, all the power to you. I'm gonna give Tricks a three out of 10. I do like the crunchy corn puffiness of the Tricks, but the flavor is bleh. Mixing it up with a tiny little box of Cookie Crisp. Well, I think these are also called cookie crunch in America, but it's the same thing. It literally looks just like cookies. So I could just be eating a bowl of cookies for breakfast. So we'll see what happens. The box is really cute though. I do like the mascot, it's a nice wolf. I'll be honest, it's surprisingly bland. They don't really taste like anything. I guess that means it's good. Doesn't taste like cookies, can't taste the chocolate chips. Definitely were not cookies though. They were some kind of like corn puffy based something or other. The blandness was better than the flavor of the trick. So I'm gonna give this a five. 
It's not good, it's not bad, it is what it is. I mean, it's crunchy. Next up, we have an absolute classic, and that is Honey Nut Cheerios. I've heard about these so many times on so many TV shows. I think it's like a staple American breakfast, and it's even got LeBron James on the front. LeBron James. It's a meme, guys. It's a vine. You guys remember vine, right? It says, can help lower cholesterol as part of a healthy diet. I don't know if that's true, but we'll find out. Ooh. I mean, they look like the most healthy ones so far out of all of them. Hmm. These are alright. We actually have a breakfast here in Australia called Nutrigrain. The aftertaste, they taste a lot like Nutrigrain. Like when you first put them in your mouth, you do get that like honey sweet flavor, which was really nice. And then after you chew them, you get that more cereal flavor. I feel weird giving them the same score as the other. Uh, th those are an eight. Those are a really solid eight. Here we are with the last cereal for the day. I left this to last for a reason. I am a huge fan of cinnamon flavored things. Now, for those of you who don't know, before I started shooting my engineer, I was hitting the gym a lot. And and I kind of tricked myself. I didn't trick myself. I lied to myself and I would buy one to two cinnamon rolls telling myself this is pre-workout. You're going to burn it off throughout the workout. And then by the time you're done, it's like you didn't eat it. Well, maybe if I just had one cinnamon roll, maybe. It turns out I wasn't working out hard enough to burn off even one cinnamon roll and I was eating two before my workout. And that was a really fun time in my life. I am not saying I am fat. I'm just saying for me, a kid who grew up really really skinny it was the thickest I have ever been I'll put a photo up here that was me and a bunch of cinnamon rolls hopefully I can relive some of that experience through this delicious cinnamon toast crunch so let's find out toy we got a cute mummified chicken nice oh that cinnamon smell please let this be everything that I want it to be That was the one. This is it. This is my cinnamon baby. Yeah, this is like a solid 9 out of 10. The cinnamon wasn't overpowering. It wasn't too sweet. I like the shape. I like the texture. That was amazing. And that was definitely my favorite cereal of the day. Cinnamon Toast Crunch number one. Tricks. Yo, nasty. I left one out. <laughs> Thought I left the cinnamon toast crunch to last. Turns out we actually have one left. My bad. All right, last one. I'm actually almost full, so really good timing. The last one we have is Cocoa Frosties. So looking at the box, these look like kind of cocoa covered cornflakes. I was a really big fan of cornflakes back in the day, but I would always leave them until they got soggy and then they're not nice when they're soggy. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have high hopes for this. They will be better than tricks, but um, we'll see how they go. They're not that good. You couldn't really taste the chocolate and something felt wrong. I don't think cornflakes should be covered in chocolate. Yeah, something was really like weird about that. I did not enjoy the experience. I gave a five to the cookie. I can't rate these above the cookie. So I'm gonna give those a four. They're no way near as bad as tricks, but they just weren't nice, really in any way. They're way better off as just regular cornflakes. I don't know why they put chocolate on them. You're nasty. Okay guys, so that's the end of today's video. The best one by far was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is my baby. So anyway guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you'd like me to do this kind of video again with other types of food, please don't forget to comment and let me know about it. To be honest, I'm not really a big cereal guy anymore. I used to eat it every day before school as a kid, but now I just kind of have yogurt in the morning or don't even eat breakfast. I usually skip breakfast. So it was kind of fun uh, getting to relive my sugar deprived childhood. I guess now I'm thankful to my parents for depriving me of these sugary morning treats, but they were delicious. Some of them were very nice. Some of them tricks were not so nice. I hope everyone enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.